Hi, Pisces. My what a sign, Pisces. What is up? What is good with y'all? Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Queen of Wands. Uh, 1111. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and tuning in. For my returnees, welcome back to the channel, you guys. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for all the likes, comments, shares, and subscribes, y'all. I really do appreciate that. I'm very happy and very grateful for y'all. All right. So this is for the male and female genders. Okay. Take it how it resonate. Reverse the roles as you see fit. Uh, there's no gender specific in tarot. So keep that in mind here. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. So like I said, take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If you have Pisces highly aspected in your chart, this may resonate with you as well. So let's get some messages from the universe and see what the universe wants you guys to know. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Pisces. All right, what's this? Somebody's a runner. It says, when I catch feelings, I run or fall back. I don't know what to expect. I'm working on my issues. So I feel like when this person catches feelings, they just run up out the door. They want you to chase after them. All right. They're working on their issues, though. Or they need to. Let's see. What other messages does Spirit have for you? Okay. Somebody wants to take you to a luxury suite. Or this says that you love to live in luxury. You like nice things. But they want to spend the night with you. They want to spend some time with you. Fireworks hot and heavy. You could be a father. So you're a good father, Pisces. Or if you want kids, you have the potential to be a good father. You could be connected to another water sign, another Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Somebody's about to get pissed off. Somebody's getting caught. Some secrets is being revealed. Somebody's getting exposed. Somebody feel guilty. I feel like there's some confessions coming out. All right. There's some baby mama, baby daddy drama here. So you may have went to court or there was some family issues, child support, custody battles here, or this is coming up for some of you. This may have been in the past, so this could be now for some of you. Somebody loves you or you love them. I feel like somebody's not giving up, okay? They want you. Somebody could be stalking you on your social media. Somebody watches you on a platform or it could be Instagram here. Somebody was trying to make you jealous. Somebody could be reading through your comments as well. Okay, or flip the script. This could be you. All right, let's see. Messages for Pisces. Yeah, somebody's a snake. It says an enemy as a friend, lover, or a thief. Someone acts like they care, but they really don't. So someone's not to be trusted here. You may have met this person in the summer months or you dealt with them all year along. But somebody's yearning for you, Pisces. They're missing you. They're thinking about the good times. They never had someone like you. Yeah, this ex, ex-lover, they want you back. They realize you're the only one for them and they don't want anyone else, but they feel rejected. All right. Y'all took a split from each other, time apart. <clears throat> you may have said, yo, I need a break. I need some time to myself or y'all a separation. You may have dealt with this person around the springtime, but I see around the springtime, y'all going to be party, partying, partying, getting out, enjoying life, going to concerts, gatherings, and traveling. Somebody's receiving karma. You could be seeing the numbers 333444, or it's this person. There's good karma here and bad karma. Somebody's going through a karmic cycle, and I feel like justice will be served in your favor. You guys may have been getting, um, like, documents to sign for a new car, or you could be looking at a new car, but you're leveling up. You're making more money. There's a new career here for you. You're financially stable, or you will be. Hmm. Somebody's unsure of things. They're indecisive. They can't make a decision. I feel like somebody here is obsessed. They feel like you're theirs or this is you. It says I'm yours, you're mine. The chemistry is insane. I can't keep my hands off of you. They want sympathy here. They want you to forgive them for what they did in the past. They're sorry. They feel remorseful. They're throwing a pity party. This person's been crying over what they did to you or vice versa. Something that they did. Why are we talking about this? Spirit. Yeah, you may have got a new home. You could be moving or somebody wants to move in with you. Somebody may have a sneaky link. They may go to this sneaky link's house. Or somebody wants to make you their sneaky link and come over to your crib. 
or it's vice versa. It says, I'm passionate about you. It's exciting when I'm with you. I feel like y'all been working a lot, working too hard, working too much, stretching yourself thin. Y'all ain't been getting no sleep because y'all been working, working, working. I feel like you're coming off as unbothered. You're smiling in pictures. You're like, next, you're losing interest in somebody who tried to treat you like a side piece or they got multiple options here. Somebody went to the doctor to get checked up for STDs, STIs, whatever. You're getting great results. You're clear. There's nothing to worry about. You ghosted somebody or somebody ghosted you without notice, no call, no text, no show. Somebody just disappeared on you. Give me one more. What does the universe want you guys to know? Pisces. What does the universe want you guys to know? What does the universe want you to know, Pisces? Thank you, spirit. Yeah. You could be a businessman or there's a businessman in your energy. This person is slow to commit, but they're very trickery. They are fraud or commit fraudery. Sign names. Their uh, name on people documents here. All right. Some sort of fraud. But I feel like they got motives. They're trying to control you. They're manipulating. They're fake pretending. Oh, wow. So somebody is like, they got trickery ass energy. This is like the magician in reverse. Somebody's manipulative. So be careful with this person's energy. Y'all don't like that. But some secret is about to come out. Some news. Somebody's getting some news here that something happened. And I feel like somebody's going to be pissed the off. Okay. Because the secret is coming out. And they're going to have to confess what they did. Pisces. Let's see what other messages is coming out. Let's see what the universe wants you guys to know. Pisces. Divination abusers. So somebody um, does a lot of dark magic, a lot of spell work here. All right. Somebody's stalking you, watching you. Somebody's obsessed here. Yeah. Hmm. Somebody does a lot of spell work. Somebody's a happiness hater. They see other people in relationships or they may see you in a relationship and they hate on that shit. They're like, oh, that should be me. Why? Well, I'm not in a relationship. Why well, nobody don't want me? Like, they're a hater. Somebody looking you up, researching you, studying you or getting info or this is you. Somebody could be going on Google to do like a background check or some research on you. Yeah, something's being rejected. So it could be the information that they're trying to look up. Maybe they don't have enough money to pay for this or you're rejecting them. Yeah, you're blocking this drama starter. Somebody starts a lot of drama. They get themselves into a lot of bullshit. They try to drag you into this bullshit or vice versa. Somebody's a thief. Somebody either got robbed or they like to rob people of their um, physical or emotional state. Somebody could have committed some sort of theft. Somebody took a major loss here. Yeah, they want to make you an offer. Somebody here. Somebody likes to drink like uh, mocha or cappuccino. Somebody goes to Starbucks here. What is this offer? I don't know. This person's a wolf in sheep's clothing, but I feel like they're carless right now. Their car broke down. They got repoed or they got a boot on their car or their car won't start. The engine messed up or they um, got something wrong with the cooling system or something like that. They can't move their car. They fishing for comments. Somebody's looking through the comment section trying to figure out what other people saying. Somebody's a spiritual hater here, too. They hating on your spirituality, your light, your magic, and your power. Somebody's trying to dig dirt up on you. Yeah, looking for dirt on you or it's vice versa. You could be looking for dirt on somebody else. Somebody's wasting time, letting time go by. No changes, and they're stuck. Somebody's a time waster. Yeah, you're moving in silence here. You're moving on. You're like, thank you, next. <laughs> You're moving on. This impersonator keeps coming out. So some of your favorite artists could be Michael Jackson. 
All right, for some of y'all, your favorite artist is Michael Jackson. I know millions and billions of people love Michael Jackson, all right? Your person may have Michael Jackson's first name. Somebody wants to be you, act like you, dress like you, look like you. Somebody copies you. They not you, but they want to be you. Somebody's crying over you. Somebody's sad and hurt and upset. Why are we talking about this? Somebody's, they need a fix. They need sex. Or they got a secret lover here. Hmm. You guys may go jogging in the morning, like early in the morning or running in the morning with your headphones on. Doing cardio. Somebody's in their head over you, overthinking, stressed out. And this person overanalyzes everything. Okay, that may block them. I feel like they're going bankrupt or they're filing for bankruptcy. Somebody's in their ego. Like, oh, I ain't got to do that. I ain't got to listen to you. I ain't got to do this and that. I'm, I'm right about this. Is, yeah. Somebody's hurt. Their ego is hurt. Their ego got in the way of the relationship. So they're like, oh, you want me to do that? I don't have to do that. Like, I can do what I want to do. I can do my own thing. I don't got to stop doing this. I don't got to do nothing you tell me to do. I don't got to listen to you. Like, that's ego right there. Queen rising. Yeah, you're stepping into your power. You're being praised. You're coming up. Some of y'all could be in the spotlight. Or this could be a Leo here. This is like the queen of wands here. Yeah. <laughs> you hooked on somebody or somebody hooked on you. Somebody facing legal issues too. They may have to go to court. Face a judge here. Somebody could be facing immigration or trying to get some lawyers here. Boss daddy. So you're a boss or somebody that is a boss is coming towards you. This could be a CEO. This could be somebody that's stable, rich, a business owner. Big dick energy is here. Yeah. Why are we talking about this boss daddy? This boss daddy is dodging bullets. This could be you or this is... um. Yeah, somebody else, his boss daddy, the CEO. You could be a CEO, but anyway, somebody's blocking negative energy, escaping crazy people. It says protected by haters. Yeah, so you blocking this shit out, dodging bullets. Give me three more for Pisces, and then we're going to move on to the tarot. Somebody's always partying, always drinking, wine, champagne. Going out to the club, the bar. They always moving around. Somebody can't sit their ass down. But you too busy out here winning. Okay? You could be in the spotlight. You could be a public figure. You could be in a public eye. You want a trophy, an award, or something like that. Somebody talking shit about your success, about you winning. Or you talk shit about somebody. But I feel like somebody's talking about your success. How you winning out here. Somebody's always getting drunk. Somebody's always partying, always outside. They're a spiritual hater. They're a relationship hater. They act like they're a wolf, but they're really in sheep's clothing. They're really soft. They're really a punk for real. Whoever this person is. They like to rob people, maybe rob females here or men here. Try to finesse females out of their money or like um, somebody's manipulative. So they're a thief. They like sell women dreams and it's, 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 it's theft. It's like a, a spiritual theft here. You sell person dreams here and tell them, oh, this, this and that, blah, 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 blah. It ain't true. That's theft. Because that could hurt somebody in the end. So, yeah. Most people don't know that, but that's spiritual. That's a spiritual thief. All right. Trying to take your emotions and turn them upside down and shit. That's a spiritual thief. Or they want to have sex with you and then leave, like create some sort of soul tie with you and then leave. That's a thief. All right, let's get some messages from y'all tarot. 
And then we're going to check and see what your person wants to say to you and wants to say about themselves here. Like this video if you are resonating with it so far, if you're liking it so far, if you're still here at this point. Like this reading, y'all. Thank you so much. One more shuffle. Uh-oh, the emperor is in the reverse. At the bottom of the deck. We're not going to go there right now. Somebody's manipulative as hell. Somebody wants to talk to you. They blowing up your phone, sending you long ass paragraphs, trying to love bomb you. Or this is you. Somebody wants to travel towards you to be intimate. Somebody's very attracted to you, very drawn to you. This could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This could be somebody's baby moms. This could be your baby mom or you the baby mom and somebody's like blowing up your phone. Sending you long paragraphs, love bombing you, wanting to travel towards you, wanting to speak to you. Yeah, this person could be giving you money, but it's very little. They give very little to you. They don't really have much to offer to you with the Page of Pentacles here. This person could be younger than you or you're younger than them. This person breadcrumbs you. I don't like that energy. All right, you may have a kid with this person. This person may give you like $40, $60, maybe $100. Like, yeah, I want to make you a small offer. Can we be friends? Can we get back together? Because they know you bring them a lot of peace, a lot of stability in their life. You are Earth Angel. You have this healing energy here. All right. You got Archangel Raphael. I'm sorry, Gabriel protecting you, balancing out your emotions here. You're being patient with the universe. You're being patient with the people you let into your life. You're being patient with yourself. You're balancing things out in your emotions. You're healing. You guys are single, stable, independent, a self-made millionaire. You're working real hard, getting your money up. You're looking good. You're changing your wardrobe here. You could be going out connecting in nature by yourself here. And somebody is stressed out. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Sagittarius. Or there's a Leo Aries Sagittarius here. Somebody has a lot of baggage. Somebody feels like they're carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders here. Yeah, you're uninterested in this person. You're not interested in them. You're unhappy, dissatisfied, you're bored. You're doing really well in your career, though. Your money's looking good. <clears throat> Messages for Pisces. Pisces, somebody who's struggling and they, they they bored, they're unhappy, they don't like where they live at, they don't like the environment. <clears throat> this could be a missed opportunity because the love offer is being rejected. Yeah, somebody gave you the silent treatment or went silent on you. Somebody could be in their bed praying or praying their way up out of a situation here. I feel like you're putting something to rest. This could be a Cancer. This could be a, a Gemini or a Libra that you're putting something to rest with. Yeah. You're putting something to rest. This offer was being rejected. And they're unhappy because it's being rejected. Yeah, you're releasing someone. Or someone is releasing you. All right, with the four pentacles in reverse, you're letting someone go here. And you're happy. You're feeling blessed. You're feeling grateful. You're showing gratitude to the universe. Somebody could be overindulging in recreational drugs, alcohol. Somebody could be shooting dope or on coke or something like that. I don't know, but I feel like, like I said, you out here winning. You're doing real good in your career. You're in the spotlight. You have a lot of respect for people. People have a lot of respect for you. People look up to you. You're getting a praise, the accolades, the pats on the back here. You, you're celebrating. You could be awarded. You could have a trophy. You're winning something here. You're sitting on your high horse. With the six of wands here, you're moving forward. Yeah, somebody wants to be in a relationship with you. 
you could already be in a relationship, getting a lot of attention from your partner. Somebody wants attention from you. Yeah, somebody could be stuck in something, trapped in something here, or somebody could be fearing going to jail here. Somebody's in their head about you, overthinking. They feel stuck, trapped, and blocked. They was blinded to something when they were with you. Yeah. They want to work with you, collaborate with you. They could be venting about you to other people with the Three of Pentacles. They could be working behind the scenes with other people to try to get y'all back together. Or this is just saying that you're leveling up in your career here. You're leveling up. This is like a step up in your career here. Yeah, you and this person is at a distance from each other. But I feel like you're closing out this cycle. It's over. You're starting a brand new phase, a brand new cycle, a brand new beginning here. This person is facing judgment. This could be judgment in a legal court case as well. You're making a final judgment call here. This could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or a Leo, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. Somebody is spying on you. They want a second chance or you're watching somebody. They want a second chance with you. Somebody's looking you up. Somebody got their eye on you. Somebody trying to figure something out. Somebody could be riding past your house, your job, asking family and friends about you. All right. You could be holding back, taming your energy, um, trying to basically not curse somebody out or working on your anger. You're very brave and courageous and you're, you're very powerful here. Queen of Pentacles, you're a good mother, or you could be a good father here. Okay, you keep your house clean. You're a witch, so you do white magic. You could be a businessman or a businesswoman. Or this could be the parent of your child. You may work with or do business with this person. This person could be holding back from you. This person you spying on, or they spying on you, or you're holding back from them. Yeah, somebody's upset. They're crying. They in regret for the things that they did because somebody was very loyal and dedicated here. Or this was you, loyal and dedicated to this person. This person is re in regret. They feel like all hope is lost here. Yeah. Somebody stabbed you in the back multiple times here, left you for dead, did you dirty. It's over. Somebody hurt you real bad or you hurt them real bad because of some sort of juggling act here. Somebody was juggling multiple lovers here or a two-timer. Somebody had multiple families, like different baby mamas or different baby daddies. But I feel like this person is indecisive about what they're going to do. They're going back and forth in their head about something. I just feel like you keep it really busy here. You're working. You could be studying. You could be going back to school. You could be studying for law or reading law books here. Yeah, you planning for your future here. Somebody could be already involved in a relationship. Somebody at a distance from you. Or I see you getting into a new relationship. The grass is greener on your side. Yeah, there's going to be love there. A soul tie here. Somebody wants a reunion with you. This is, just, this is somebody that may give you money with the Six of Pentacles. Or you may give them money. Somebody wants to equal give and take with you. Somebody wants balance with you. Reciprocity with you. But I feel like while they were in a relationship with you, they was breadcrumbing you, balancing things out between two different people here. They're very indecisive with the two of pentacles and the two of wands here. Somebody's in between two worlds, two minds here, or trying to choose a path here. I feel like, yeah, this person is indecisive if you want um, to be with them or not. They don't know. So they try to give you money, try to support you, you know what I'm saying? Try to do stuff for you. But it's not much. It's very little. They want some sort of balance between the two of you. Yeah. I feel like you're not stressing over this person no more. You're coming out of that energy. If you was having anxiety, if you was stressed, worrying, depressed, couldn't sleep, couldn't eat, you know, all up in your head, having nightmares and dreams about this person, you're coming up out of that energy. You don't even have anxiety anymore or it's like fading away. Yeah, somebody wants a new start with you, a brand new beginning with you. They want to make you a huge offer here. This could be an offer of something more stable, solid, and committed. Somebody may want to marry you or get engaged to you or take you out for dinner and a movie or spend mad money on you. This could be you getting a bonus promotion or a raise or getting a lot of money here. You could be make making a huge payout for a house, a car. 
or this is a gift from spirit, or you could be giving somebody something, or somebody could be giving you something here. Somebody was happy with you in the past. For some of you, you was married to this person. Whatever you're getting from the universe, I feel like you're going to be happy. This is like um, emotional fulfillment. But yeah, somebody here wants to manifest you back into their life. They want to marry you. Somebody here wants to marry you. Could be a Gemini. Could be another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But somebody's in a dark place doing some introspection and reflecting here on the part they played in the relationship. A lot of people around them left them out on the cold by themselves. This person could be alone. They could be feeling abandoned and neglected by a lot of people that they were around, that they were hanging out with. It could be a group of people or, you know what I'm saying, whoever. But they're by themselves here. And you're guarded towards this person. Your wall is up and your guard is up. You don't trust this person. You're giving this person a side eye because they bruised you so many times. They wounded you so many times here. And you're protecting your heart space. Yeah, and they want to apologize to you. But it's like you don't believe them or you don't trust them or you giving them you giving them the side eye. Like, what do you want? Like, what is what is your hidden motive? Yeah, this person is an absent parent, so they're not around their children right now. This is a distorted masculine. This is somebody who is manipulative. This is a narcissist. They have no power over you. They they realizing that they're powerless. They can't do what they they can't finesse you and charm you and charm you out your panties because they're very charming. All right, and they can't charm you out your panties and fuck you and, and then leave or try to make you some emotional offer, fuck you and then manipulate you. They can't do that no more. So they they know they've lost all power and all control over you. Yeah. They want to send you a message here. This could be some good news. Or you're receiving good news here. But I feel like they're gaining the courage and the confidence to reach out to you. This person is at a distance from you. You could be booking flights overseas here. This person could be foreign or you are. This person wants to come towards you, but a lot of you are moving away to a place of peace and calmer waters here. Yeah, now they want to be loyal to you. They want to be stable. They want to help you. They want to give you money. They want to be the perfect man or the perfect woman for you. It's like, what? After all of this time, this person didn't want to commit. This person didn't want to get married. This person didn't want to settle down. This person was bending the rules. They were acting like they were all religious when they really weren't. They was acting like they knew about the Bible when they really didn't. You know what I'm saying? This this relationship was not ordained by the higher ups. It was not ordained. And I feel like you're walking away from this person. You're leaving all the emotions, the love, and all the plans behind. This was a spiritual connection between the two of you, but I feel like you're using your intuition. You're listening to your intuition here. You're being silent. You're being quiet. This person is keeping some secrets hidden from you or hiding some sort of information. All right? Because they, they walked away feeling like the grass was greener on the other side. And I feel like you're not talking to this person. But they do want to talk to you. But I feel like a lot of stuff that they say to you, you just, you don't, it don't be reciprocated. You don't say that stuff back. But they want the reciprocation, all right? Somebody's initials could end or begin with B or J here. Somebody's highly intuitive. Somebody could be a tarot reader here or they watching a lot of readings here. They may pull some cards here too. Yeah, this is someone from your past. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's you. Somebody wants to come back and reconcile with you. Somebody wants forgiveness. Somebody wants to give you some flowers. Y'all may have children together. This is somebody you may have known when you was very young or a high school sweetheart, somebody you met in college or somebody you have history with. This person is hiding their feelings. They're being sneaky with their feelings here. Somebody is. Yeah. What's the outcome for these two? Somebody wants forgiveness here. Somebody may want to uh, secretly show up at your house or vice versa. You want to show up at somebody else's house? Like, yeah, can I come in? Or, yeah, I'm at the door. 
Somebody could be ringing your bell or calling you and saying, yeah, I'm outside. you like, what the fuck? I ain't tell you you could come here. They want to secretly pop up on you like, yeah, I'm outside. Can you come outside so I can talk to you, please? This person is not giving up on you. Do you have any more messages? I don't feel like Spirit has any more messages for y'all. Yeah, this person throws temper tantrums when they don't get what they want. They're emotionally immature. They're childish. Somebody's not pregnant here. They're sitting here thinking. They still have hope and faith that you two can heal things, mend things, work things out. They fantasize about you. They daydream about you, but they heartbroken. They heartbroken because they want a relationship with you because you're loyal. You're very stable. You're beautiful. You're intuitive. You may have this person's children. Y'all may have like seven kids or five kids, three kids, one kid for some of y'all. Could be six kids, could be two kids, four kids, whatever. But they want a relationship with you. You could be pregnant or they're wanting to get you pregnant. They're trying to sneak back into your life. They're trying to steal you from somebody. Because the Seven of Swords is a thief. So if you're with somebody already, they're trying to steal you. Or you're trying to steal somebody from, I don't know. <laughs> You trying to steal somebody from another person or they trying to steal your ass. Because they know how loyal and dedicated you are. They know what you bring to the table. They know you're not going to settle and they want to they wanna give you what you deserve. They want to marry you. After all the bullshit they put you through now, they want to marry you. It may have been a year or a year since you heard from this person. But they just, I don't know, they're imbalanced. They're manipulative. I feel like they, yeah, some of y'all, they're going to try to manipulate you into taking them back or some shit. Well, they just distorted and imbalanced here. They could be overspending. Spirit wants you to be uh, careful with your spending as well. Don't overspend, all right? You could be buying a whole bunch of shit, like new clothes, new sneakers, getting your hair done, nails done, everything did, jewelries. Spirit wants you to slow down before you go broke. All right, don't go broke now. Invest your money or put some money somewhere. Save it because I see you've been overspending or it's this person who's been overspending Somebody may have a shopping addiction or be on Amazon. Stay off them Amazon. Stay off SD Shop. <laughs> it's hard because they got some good shit up there. Timu. <laughs> Shein. Okay, you may be shopping at Walmart. Listen, just be careful with your spending. Make sure you got some money left. So if a rainy day come up and you got an emergency... You got some money to go where you need to go just in case your car break down. You can fix that. Just in case you need to pay your rent, you got the money. All right, just in case you need to go to the doctor, you, you can go through an Uber or Lyft, whatever. Or you can pay one of your family members or friends to take you there. I've been watching your socials and admiring your pictures. So they look at your pictures all the time. They watch you on your socials. They're trying to manifest you. I'm on my way to you. They on their way to reaching out to you. Or they, like I said, they could be trying to come to your motherfucking house. <laughs> I don't know how to handle my emotions right now. This person, I don't know. Some of y'all, they get drunk and be crying and be talking about the past here. I let people manipulate me into ghosting you. They let other women or other men manipulate them into leaving you. Leaving you out in the cold here. This could also be meddling family members and friends. They ain't got nothing to do with your motherfucking relationship, but they all up in y'all business. I can't let you go. Well, this person is holding on to you for their life. They holding on to you. They don't want to let you go. You're always on this person's mind. 
person's always thinking about you 24 7 365 i'm holding on to the memories of us so if they got videos from the past like when y'all went out and had fun or them nasty movies or pictures maybe even emails text messages they still read that they still watch that they still got it in their computer tablet or their phone Every time my phone rings, I hope it's you. So if you have this person's number, they hoping for you to reach out to them and call them, but it's not you, it's somebody else calling. I'm afraid of commitment. They have commitment phobia, commitment issues. They was afraid of settling down with you because they was in this player player energy. They thought they was the shit. They thought they was the bomb diggity. They thought it was more popping, but that don't get you nowhere. That'd be the problem. I sabotaged our connection because it was too intense. They didn't know what they had until it was gone. They, It was too strong. You was too much woman for them or too much man for them. They never had somebody like you before. I want to kiss you. They miss your lips. They miss your tongue kiss, your French kiss. They missing that shit, okay? They may get horny when 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 they think about it. Hmm. I'm scared you will reject me. They don't want to. They don't want. Uh, how can I say this? They're not taking no for an answer. That's what I. I that's how I'm gonna say it. Okay, Pisces. They not taking no for an answer. They're very determined to try to win you over at all costs here. They want to beat out the competition. They want to do something. I want to treat you the way you deserve. Yeah, they want to give you everything you deserve now. What they didn't give you in the past, they feel like, okay, now is the time. Let me give it to Pisces now. I regret what I did to you. They're doing some heavy-duty soul-searching and reflecting and doing some introspecting on what they did to you, and they regret that shit. I wish you were here with me. Wherever they are in the world, they wish you was there. They wish you was there. No matter where they are, okay? I'm sorry I couldn't be what you needed me to be. This person was still bruised and wounded from childhood trauma. I've been manifesting you. I'm telling y'all, there was a spell work on you. Writing messages to you, saying certain things to you, looking at pictures. They is manifesting you through the 5D, spiritually. You keep hearing their name all over the place. Keep seeing uh, people that look like them. And, you know, that's a part of manifestation. They're trying to will you in or this is you trying to manifest somebody. I'm caught up in a karmic relationship. They with somebody they don't even love. It's drama there. It's one-sided. It's not enough equal give and take. It's no reciprocity. It's not enough respect. They don't want to be in a toxic relationship anymore. They don't want to be toxic no more. They want to be balanced and, and, and untoxic like you. They don't want to be toxic. You're worth more than I let on. This person didn't actually tell you how much they love you, how much you mean to them. They hid that from you. And why would they hide that? I don't know. Maybe they was afraid of their own feelings for you. That's why they ran. They got up out the door and ran, found somebody else and ran off. Try to break you down so you won't like... Be so in love with them or so they won't be so in love with you. They try to fight their feelings for you. Try to ignore it. They want to hold you. This person is used to holding you at night and they want to hold you again. They knew you were the one when they met you. They probably told you this. They ready to take their mask off. They tired of pretending. But it's like, will you believe them? I don't think so. Because of the way they move around, the way they was used to treating you, or the way they behave. I don't know if you will believe them, y'all. 
You may be like, uh uh, she lying. This motherfucker lying. This person is stuck. They selfish and they were stuck in their ego. They were stuck in their whole phase. They wanted to fuck around with whoever, however, whenever. They didn't want to commit to you. They didn't want to marry you. They didn't want to settle down with you. They was in their whole phase. But they want to apologize and they need your forgiveness. They want to tell you the truth now. They've been working on themselves. They're trying to change. But they're afraid they lost you forever. That's what they're afraid of. Mm-hmm. Y'all may have been best friends, like, and they're afraid they lost you forever. They're afraid it's over for good. Like, you would never take them back. Like, it's over for real this time. And that could be the case. Because you just don't believe them. You just, I don't know. It's like it's hard for you to trust this person because of how they treated you in the past. How they was moving around, how they was behaving, how they was acting towards you. It's just like, I don't know if I can believe you right now. You know, it's just, it's hard. But, you know, if they lost you, they lost you. I mean, they, they should have got it right the first time. It shouldn't have had to been a second, third, fourth, fifth time. You know, that's too much. You know, that's telling somebody like, hey, I don't respect you. You know, you won't you just break up with me so I don't have to break up with you and make you feel bad. Break up with me so I can be a hoe or go out here and do what I want to do because I don't want to. I'm not man enough or woman enough to tell you, look, I don't want to be with you right now. I, I'm, I'm, I still want to be free. I'm not ready to settle down. I'm not ready to commit to you and only you. I still want my hoes on my, you know, I still want my you know, options to be open. They couldn't tell you that. So they wanted you to break up with them. They forced a breakup that they didn't even want to happen. They didn't even want this to happen, but they forced this to happen by being stuck in their ego, by being selfish and stubborn and not compromising with you. And look what happened. So that's their fault. You know what I'm saying? But they trying hard to get back to you. And I don't know, y'all. It's going to be hard for y'all to believe them. It's going to be hard for y'all to open up y'all heart to this person. Some of y'all is like, fuck you. I don't never want to be with that person again, ever, 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 ever. And that's understandable. You know, you don't have to be with this person. I'm just telling you the energy, all right? So, Pisces, that is your reading. If you like this reading, if this resonates with you, if you stay all the way to the end, if you want to see me do more readings for y'all, Pisces, if you enjoyed this reading, make sure that you guys like this video up. Subscribe to the channel. Turn your post notifications on to ALL so you won't miss any readings that I upload for you guys. And you will always catch the T. Comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Share, 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 share it. Comment and let me know you shared it. And don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much. Until next time. Bye, Pisces. I'll see y'all in the next reading.